So you got yourself the new EB5 electric folding bike from Swagtron. You're now part of the growing family of e-bike lovers who are living that electric life. In this video, we'll cover the first steps you should take after you receive your EB5. We'll go over some maintenance for maximizing your e-bike as well as some troubleshooting tips. Once you unfold the bike, make sure all latches are properly secured. To unfold pedals, pull up and they will flip out. And don't forget our little kickstand. When unfolding the handlebars, be sure to secure the main latch and follow up with the safety latch. Once latched, you can telescope up the handlebars to the perfect riding height, but not beyond our safety marks. To adjust the grip rotation, release the top latch and find a comfortable position before locking. Adjust the seat post height and do not exceed our safety marks. Make sure your brakes are installed properly by giving a quick test. And check the throttle is free on rotation. After you have unboxed and set up your EB5, it's time to get fully charged. Expect 4-5 to five hours and we suggest not to overcharge as this may damage your battery. Now that you are set up and fully charged, let's go over how to ride. There are three ways to ride the EB5. One, throttle only mode. Two, throttle and pedal mode, our fastest. And three, pedal only. Practice until you are comfortable with using all of the e-bike's functions and you're able to get on and off with ease. Frequently inspect both of your tires after riding for signs of puncture and or damage. It is recommended that you inflate your tires to a minimum of 40 PSI to reach top speeds and extend your battery life. A little tip, heavier riders increase by 2 to 3 PSI. As you ride more and more, the brake cable may become stretched and less effective. Here is a quick tip for adjusting the handbrake cable tension to ensure safe and proper stopping power. Our pedals are made to be portable and compact. They can quickly be retracted by pushing the pedal inward first, then down. To obtain maximum range and top speed, ensure that your EB5 is fully charged before riding. This can take up to five hours. A little tip, avoid overcharging the battery. So when the EB5's battery is full, it's best to take it off the charger. In some cases, you may notice your throttle becomes difficult to move. This may be a result of your hand grip being too tight. Lightly adjust and this should free it up. Because the EB5 is so foldable, clamps can get loose over time. Tightening the latches is easy, but tighten just enough to offer some resistance when clamping. Seat post clamps work the same way as our stem clamp, so be prepared to adjust when needed. Too much and it will not clasp properly. If you have ridden on uneven terrain, remember that some items will become loose. One such item is the seat. Make sure you carry a set of tools when riding for such an occurrence. Frequently inspect both tires after every ride for signs of puncture and or damage. At some point in every bike's life, brakes might become loose, affecting stopping time. Sometimes the fix is simply tightening the handbrake. Otherwise, here's a tip for adjusting the front and rear brakes. Locate the brake cable on the brake. Using a pair of pliers and Allen key, loosen the cable. Pull out some slack, but not too much. Once done, tighten and give them a test. The EB5 is a folding commuter e-bike that is compact and fun to ride, but it's better suited for smooth, even pavement. It is not designed for stunts or tricks. If it's raining outside, leave your EB5 at home. The EB5 is rated IPX4 for water resistance, but it's not waterproof. While it can handle occasional splashes, water can still potentially damage the internal parts of the EB5. Have questions or problems with your EB5? For expedited service, you can reach our 5-star customer service team via phone, email, or live chat. 